hey everyone and welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a meal prep video so going forward in our household we are going to be trying meal prepping and this is going to be a different kind of meal prepping because i'm actually going to cook the food not just prepping the meat but cooking the food and then just putting them into containers. So the way that it's going to work is that I'm going to do breakfast for my husband and then lunch for the both of us, but we will not be eating dinner. Um, it's just been working out that way for us that we'll have lunch in the afternoon and then there's no need for dinner. And then it kind of just clears up our schedule whenever we get home to just put baby girl to sleep, try to hang out or do something for ourselves before it's time for us to go to sleep. My husband goes to work at four o'clock in the morning, so there's not a lot of time um, that we get with each other because I get home at about seven o'clock. So I'm just trying to clear up some space um, for us. Um, to just be able to enjoy either things together or just things for ourselves. So this week for meal prep, I'm doing two meals. So I am doing wings and then I'm going to do barbecue chicken with cauliflower rice and black beans. So I actually have the meat right now defrosting. So whenever the meat is finished, I am going to go ahead and season all of it and put it in the fridge to let it season overnight because today is Saturday. And then on Sunday, about like midday, I will go ahead and put the wings in the air fryer and the chicken legs in the oven so that that can cook and then get the rice going. And we're going to see how it works for the week. I think that'll be very successful. I just think it's just going to be a lot for me to do on the end. And then I will um, also make some boiled eggs and put like some snacks of course together with our lunches I am waiting on my curbside pickup I fell asleep doing my curbside pickup Friday night and so instead of being able to pick it up in the morning um, it's not gonna be until late afternoon so um, I will be doing a grocery haul so make sure you guys um, watch the grocery haul for the things that I got and I'm super excited about this meal prep so um, stay tuned for me to season the meat and then um, cook everything tomorrow hey you guys welcome back to another grocery haul let me just turn down the tv a little bit so i did an heb um curbside pickup so i'm just going to show you guys um quickly what i got i spent about like 70 something dollars i didn't get a lot of stuff um wasn't as successful as it was uh last week but let me stop talking and show you guys what i got so this is everything that I got from HEB. N normally the things that I buy are low carb. There are a lot of carby stuff in here, but um, that's just where we are for this week. So um, back here, we're gonna start off here. I actually got three cases of these 32 count waters. Um, two is still in my car for my husband to take out because he normally takes a case to work with him. Um, so this will stay inside of the house. Over here, I picked up some... Um, H-E-B tortillas because I'm going to make nachos for dinner. Um, I did not realize the bag was going to be this big. If it was, then I would have just went with the other um, like smaller bag. But this was on a coupon, so that's why I picked it up. Um, I picked up some Gala apples for a snack this week. I also was picking up some more... Um, Syrup, I did not know that this bottle was going to be this big. I swore it was going to be a lot smaller. So I won't have to buy syrup for a very long time. I got some Tostitos con quesos, the medium cheese dip for the nachos. I picked up some apple sauces to take with me for lunches this week. Um, I am going to be putting out a meal prep, so stay tuned for that. Um, I picked up two little bags of these Mexican rice. One of them will go for um, either salmon or cod for dinner on Sunday. I picked up some Laughing Cow cheese. I got some pico de gallo for the nachos, and then I got some beef for the nachos. I picked up some Hot Pockets at my husband's request. Um, you will see I'll talk more about this in our meal plan um, but these are just a great go-to for him i know that we eat low carb i will eat a lot more low carb than my husband has to um, because he doesn't necessarily have digestive issues 
Um, so I bought this small pack, but whenever I do my Sam's Club, um, Sam's Club haul in May, I'll probably get a bigger pack to make sure that we have in the freezer. Um, I got some pancakes. I wanted to do pancakes for breakfast this week, um, along with my meal plan. So I know it's not low carb, but here we are. Um, I got some Wasa crackers, and these crackers are great for snacking, and we like to eat them with the Laughing Cow cheese. We needed some more coffee, so I got the um, San Antonio Taste of Texas coffee. Um, Y'all, I love the H-E-B. Um, well, I think, well, this is like a brand of H-E-B. Um, their K-Cups, they are really good and also affordable. I got these uh, this saline spray and drops for baby girl because she's just a little congested and I didn't want to go somewhere else to get <laughs> any. And then lastly, I got some sweet and sassy trail mix. This is going to go um, for meal prep this week and this is my husband's favorite. So I got some. So this was everything that I got you guys and this was about 70 bucks. I only bought one meat. Um, I couldn't imagine spending $70 and only getting this because this is not covering any kind of di dinners. Um, but um, this is my grocery haul. I hope you guys like it and stay tuned for my meal prep. Okay, so I seasoned the meat already and I was just going to show you guys what I seasoned everything with. So these are the wings and these are the chicken legs. Um, I just used some browning so that's why it has like that dark color to it. I use some thyme. I have some Liam Perrin's um, Worcestershire sauce. I put some garlic powder and onion powder. I put some cayenne powder, um, pepper for a little tang, y'all, if y'all like um, spicy stuff. And then I used the Tony Saturies, and that was all of the seasonings that I used. So I'm just going to cover this up and put it into the um, fridge and uh, join me when I start cooking all of this. All right, you guys, so I have my salmon here because this is what I'm going to be cooking for dinner tonight. Today is Sunday, so this is, um, I had it defrosting this morning because I don't like to have fish out earlier than it needs to be. So um, I have my fish here. I'm going to season this up and put it in the fridge. It's only 11 o'clock right now, so I'm not going to start making... Um, any of the food until about maybe closer to while I'm cooking this too because I want to be able to cook everything all together at one time and see how it works for me so um I'll show you guys that but I am just seasoning <coughs> sorry you guys I'm seasoning the salmon with some Tony Saturies first and um I'm gonna flip this over some and this is going to kind of be a process maybe we'll see um so i have some of that on there then i am just going to put a little bit more black pepper on here okay and then i have some garlic powder and y'all i love my meat fish whatever um, for it to be well seasoned. I don't measure seasoning and it's based on my feelings. <laughs> um, the next is going to be some onion powder. So, uh, putting some onion powder here. And then I'm just going to put like a tip of cayenne pepper because I don't need it to be like too spicy, but I want it to have a little tang to it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of thyme on here. Okay, and um, what I like to do is, is that I'll take the bottom of this and just rub it on top because this has all of the seasoning on there. And then do the same thing. Um, sorry if y'all hear baby girl in the back, she's having a blast in her chair. Um, and then that is how everything is kind of seasoned, really. Um, yeah, so now this can sit in the fridge for the next couple of hours and just marinate until it is time for me to cook it. But that is what I'm going to be cooking for dinner tonight. So we'll have salmon for Easter dinner and then um, I will do my two meals for lunches next. 
All right, you guys, so I am back. It is Sunday, it is 4.04, .04, so I am going to hurry up and get everything together because in about 15 minutes or so, it's gonna be time for me to feed um, baby girls. So let me show you guys what I um, have. So this is just, sorry for the mess, y'all, but this is just everything that I need. So for my meal prep this week, I am doing wings and cauliflower fries and then i have chicken legs that i'm going to have with cauliflower rice and black beans so these are the wings that i um that i um seasoned yesterday and then the chicken legs are in here and then these are the veggie cauliflower tots that i had from a while so i'm going to use it this is just the avocado oil that i am going or spray that i'm going to use for the um air fryer i have two rice cauliflowers um this is actually going to be the rice for dinner so i'm also going to be making dinner as well too and the salmon is in the fridge and then this is the rice i have some barbecue sauce i'm going to use this up first and then um take out the other one and then i just have some black beans so um, i also just put all of the pots and stuff that i need as well so that is what I'm going to be doing. So I think this might work out, y'all. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, so let me just put y'all down somewhere. I think you guys will be able to fit right here. And let me move my air fryer out the way. So I'm going to start the air fryer meal. Um, let me turn on the oven. Oh, and I just thought about it. The um, I'm gonna need to put my. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna need to put my um, salmon in there. So I do need to hurry up and cook this chicken as well too. So I'm just gonna be taking out some aluminum, aluminum, whatever, um, <laughs> to put in this pan. So I can get that um, into the oven, okay? Into the oven, into the oven. And I'm just gonna spray it. I don't know why, but I just feel compelled to. Okay, so that is there. And then I have the Ninja um, Dual air fryer i love this thing y'all it is the best thing known to man so i can cook two things at the same time so i am just um putting some oil in here as well and in just a second i'm gonna open up this cauliflower fries and i'm gonna throw it into one bin one bin it's not a whole lot this is just what it looks like in here um but i have that in there and then i'll fill that away in a second let me get a fork and then i have this one and we are just going to stick all of the whoops the wings in here so they are nice and seasoned oh it smells so good y'all smells so good um i don't think that i'm cooking enough wings so that's gonna kind of suck but we'll just have more chicken per se to eat okay so is gonna go into the air fryer and I'm gonna turn that on and start cooking it so I need smart finish for both of them I need an air fryer 390 that's fine time is 20 and then we're gonna go to two we need air fryer 390 um, actually they can match cook as well too All right, so they're both at 20 minutes right now. 
um, but I know that I'll probably need to go ahead and extend it. Now I'm going to put my chicken onto the plate. Uh, so we have more chicken. Um, and then I know we have cauliflower rice, but I also have salad that I bought from H-E-B. I think I bought one from H-E-B and then one from Sam's Club. So um, I would like to eat that up because salad does not last very long and I don't want to waste any money. So I'm just throwing this chicken here on to need to do some kind of like snack and y'all this is where I'm stumped because I don't know what kind of snack I am going to do so I have some like these here that I'm thinking will hold cauliflower rice and the chicken in and then I have these that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm thinking that this can be wings and fries oh i just came up with that too that actually works so i am wondering if i should just use some more of these for snacks because um he's gonna have like an apple and stuff like that and i can just cut up the apples um cheese and everything and just put it in one plate so let's see how that works i'm gonna get all of that together figure it out and then bring y'all back on here all right, you guys, so here's everything that I'm thinking that I want to put together for snacks. I don't know exactly what to do. I have some peppered beef jerky, have some pistachios, the sweet and sassy trail mix, some corn tortillas, I have some apples, a navel orange, and then some cheese and some applesauce. So I'm just trying to figure out how I wanna do stuff because I have these bins here, but then I also have like some plastic baggies, so I'm not exactly sure how I want to do everything. Um, I know that my husband does not want me maybe to um, like cut up his apple, so he may just take like a fresh apple. But I'm just thinking if I should put all of his stuff in a container or if I should put it in, actually, let's see, so. I'm going to figure this out, y'all, and y'all just watch to see what happens when um, <laughs> I figure it out.
all right you guys so excuse my dirty dishes i think i got it all so i have some apples that i can give to my husband um for lunches um if you saw me counting so i was just looking at the lunches so he'll take lunch for four days so one day he can have some chips um one day will be some nuts some pistachios and then he has some beef jerky and a cheese in here also i can mix and match um with some apples and then for me i have two days or a couple of days where i can have some applesauce um one day i'll have some cheese and some oranges i'll also get some chips i have some cheese apples and pistachios in one and then some almonds cheese and apples in another and i think that's it i do have some of my trail mix still at work so i'll have some nuts to eat um but i think this is everything and then i'll show you guys once everything is like fully complete so i have the rice on the stove and the air fryer still going so it says it has four minutes left i'll put it on another 20 minutes so this is just what the cauliflower fries look like and um, that actually looks good and then these are the wings in here and they're actually looking good as well too so i'm gonna let them cook for like two more minutes or so and then i am going to um turn that off and then here is the cauliflower rice um so i just put some Kerrygold butter at the bottom here and then i am going to let everything cook out so i like to just put a little bit of seasoning on my rice if anything's even falling and then i am going to pour the black beans on here and i'm just going to let the whole thing cook and then i like to just put another butter somewhere on there and i am just going to mix this up and it just looks so good y'all so good and um, woo. Right. okay so that is the rice and i'm just gonna let that cook um and then let's check on the uh, oh y'all so these are in here cooking and i'm not gonna really touch them um until it's ready for me to come for me to turn them over and then after that i will like i said broil them with the remaining of the barbecue chicken and then that's dinner or that's lunch for the week and then i will go ahead and make dinner for tonight which is super easy because the mexican rice only takes about like five to seven minutes to cook and then it's just all about the fish being in the oven so it's not that long but just wanted to show you guys that and i'll show you what's next all right you guys so this is the end of the video this is what meal prep looked like or the ending result so i just have the barbecue chicken with the cauliflower rice and the black beans and then just to show you guys one we have the cauliflower fries and the wings i did add condiments so one is mine that has ketchup in it my husband has another one that has um this is korean barbecue sauce and then there's another one in here and it's um mango habanero sauce this is actually only going to make for three days of food so i think the other day i'm gonna do a salad and my husband will take a hot pocket and then on fridays he always has his like indian food and then i'll figure out what i decide to do for friday but that is my meal prep i hope you guys like it comment um down below what you guys think like subscribe share with your friends and family and i'll see you guys in the next one